Uh, all I ask is just don't send me any hate mail when you get yourself and your account roasted. I'm not gonna lie, when I got this message on a, a message board that I'm a part of, I had to read it a couple of times because I was, did this person really just say what my eyes and brain and reading comprehension level is telling me they said? And yeah, they did. I hope that when I read through this, the only thing you get out of it is entertainment value and kind of reassurance on why the statistics are the way they are, especially you know the 90% failure rate. But if you read this and are like, hey, that's a good idea, I'm gonna give it a try. Well then at that, in that case, let's tap the brakes on your trading and realize that you need to do uh, a lot more in terms of your studying and you need to do a lot more in terms of your comprehension of the market. So let's get to this message. Clay, I just realized that you're going to make me lots of money. I loaded up your picks into a watch list for a couple of days and randomly bought a small amount of shares in some of them and already made some money. It appears over time I should do rather well. Let me know if I'm missing anything by doing that. Your videos are cool, but I have to admit, I've been reading charts for years, so I just view them once in a while. Did you see the one word that really stood out to me? Randomly? They randomly bought some stocks. Now, it wasn't total randomness because the stocks were my picks, but what they don't seem to understand and what I hope you don't you know, have a, a false sense of is that when I do my video charts on just random tickers that I you know, map out supports, resistance levels, some trends, that's all it is. It is not a pick. It is not my way of saying, hey, buy this or anything like that. But to think that they just took those stocks and then their words, not mine. Like I said, there's a reason why I had to read a couple times, randomly bought them and then, hey, it worked. Well, it sounds like they've only tried it like once, maybe. Let's say they've tried it five times. Five times from a statistical perspective is not a big sample size. That's not a good way to go about it, especially when you're just randomly buying stocks. I'm just randomly buying it from a, ra please, if you think that randomness has a place in any strategy, no matter what it is, let's get that out of your head right now. If you, that, that's not how this works. If you think that you can follow somebody, and once again, I mean, following somebody is bad enough, but you add in that next layer of context of randomly, this is so, bad, it's, and I'm not trying to be hard on this person, but I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're thinking. They say they've been reading charts for years. So why, why? I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't know. But I don't even know what I wanna say with this, but if you think that randomness has anything to do with a strategy, let alone following somebody, why they would need to watch my videos, I don't know when they've been watching, or they've been looking at charts for years. I, I would hope that if you've been looking at charts for years, you are saying to Clay, I don't care about your video chart analysis. I've been looking at them for years. I know how to read them. Good, they are definitely just there to capture the attention and make new people know what charts are and how charts can be used in a very basic way. But there's just so many things that don't make sense. And once again, to kind of bring this full circle, when you see the numbers of failure, when you see the 90% you know, failure rates, is it really that shocking when you see examples like this? But Clay, this is one example. I know, but I now have the leverage, I now have the convenience of saying, but this is like the, I don't know, I've, I've probably done maybe 100 Clay Trader Mal videos. I have a lot of data points. And if you think that this is just one isolated incident, hey, go down the Clay Trader Mal playlist and you'll see that there's all sorts of data points with things that just make you go, wait, what? So I don't know really what the point of this was other than hopefully the obvious in terms of following somebody, randomness. Just don't do that. You gotta learn how to do all this on your own. If you are out there trading alone currently and maybe are in the market looking for a community to join to assist you in your trading or to just help you, you know, give you another set of eyeballs, then I do have a private trading community where you can trade alongside me and other experienced traders. So what you see popping up on the screen right now is both an information link, so if you click on the inner circle one, that is going to take you to the page where I explain all the details of what exactly come with the community, both the chat room and the newsletter. And then the other image that has popped up is a behind the scenes tour where you can see exactly what is going to you know, be contained within the community. I take you through, like I said, a behind the scenes tour of everything, and that way you'll know precisely 
what you were getting uh, you know, when you joined. So definitely check that stuff out if you are interested and thinking about you know, wanting to join a community and let me know if you have any questions.